uh, come to uh, support this program. So, the schedule is as you can see, uh, we are having close to about I think I had sent this schedule over the email and most of you must have got it also and in case even if you have not had a look, a copy of this is put in your uh, registration kit. We plan about 12 lectures and trying to one of the things is it is like a 10 hour or 12 hour lecture which does not mean a full course, but we want you to be sensitized about this area that is the most important thing which we look for. And as you can see it is a very interdisciplinary area and I believe we have a spectrum of people here not necessarily focused in one area. So, for some it may be very elementary, for some it may be very deep. So, you have to bear with us and what we are looking at is enough opportunity for interaction has been placed by having about 4 laboratory courses. As you can see there are uh, lab sessions 1, 2, 3, 4 like and it is typically what we call is a it forms a micro credit of IIT Kharagpur. Micro credit here means one credit of a course. So, typically uh, in a course we have 40 to 50 lectures. So, one fourth of that is there in this and uh, people who have registered for Gyan know that they can register for various courses and earn Gyan credits that has been uh, incorporated. So, evaluation is a very integral part of the thing and learning happens through reading followed by studying, analyzing, applying and testing yourself whether you have got anything out of it. So, keeping that in mind we have a, a got some weightages based on which a grade is given at the end of the course. I have gone in the reverse order interaction is 5 percent assignments typically we would like to give one assignment every day which has to be done and every lab has to be followed by a reporting which can be sent over the email not necessarily hard copy because the moment I say report the jitters may be there. Second thing is uh, we will have labs each there are 4 labs each lab having about 10 marks. There are 2 quizzes each of 7.5 marks and then the examination 25 marks and as you can see the whole thing has been is in a different way you know unlike a traditional approach where you start off with the theory math and then go to the application. We are starting with a application to begin with then talk about the devices then a very important uh, aspect of uh, chemotherapy will be uh, and gene transfer will be talked about. Then we come to the real electrical engineering part where you need to understand how the fields are computed exercise followed by that and a very important aspect is uh, we will see is a pulse generation is a crucial thing. So, pulse generation and we do have some lab sessions associated with each of them and uh, so before we proceed further I have Dr. Manjanath who is my collaborator from school of medical science and his student Mr. Sandeep who will be uh, helping us in the lab session on day uh, 3 that is on Wednesday to do with the chemotherapy part and uh, we have Subhi Shekhar, he is a project assistant with the virtual labs at the institute. Uh, it is a mission of the government of India. In fact, I had developed a virtual lab which was housed in a server in the electrical engineering department. Now, he is helping the virtual lab project of IIT Kharagpur to put it on the cloud. So, and he is a very silent worker, he does not discuss with anybody, he learns and adapts maybe his communication is poor, but he is very good at implementing that is the hallmark of uh, uh, this boy. And I have uh, another student actually uh, Mr. Antarip Giri, he is uh, 
orthopedic surgeon's daughter son from this place and he is actually intern with me and he has got admission for masters in UK. So, he wanted to have some feel for doing research before going there. So, he, I mean he is a sort of a freelancing in my lab working on whatever he would like to work. I gave him a paper which I got for review, he implemented that and he has got up some, some new ideas. So, he is going to work in the power and power electronic converters for energy harvesting, that is the area which he is planning to work. So, before I know some of you, I know at least two of you from uh, uh, earlier interactions at IIT Madras and NIT Warangal, but others are there. So, before we formally take off everything, I would like each of you to introduce yourself. Maybe I will start with the list which I have here, Dr. Giridhar. Then Dr. Hussain. Physics is the mother of electrical science. Gyanendra Kumar, please. Myself, Gyanendra Kumar from Faisalabad. I am a student of uh, NGNI Mumbai, working in the accelerator and pulse power division, which are similar. Then we have Prasanta Sen, who is uh, from this floor itself. You are with JSST, yeah, Professor Saswat student, okay fine. So, I think we have had the introductions, I will uh, then uh, you have the schedule I think. Uh, so, we now uh, start with, uh, I will leave the floor to Professor Sundarajan, she will take over from here. Have a nice time, make the best of it, institute has flown her, government of India has brought her here all the way from Purdue for your sake. Namaste to all of you. Is everyone hearing me? Okay. Good, very, very good morning to all of you and as Dr. Kishore said, I am very happy and pleased to be here and thanks to Government of India and Gyan program and IIT Karakpur. I will be happy to share whatever I know about all these things. So, as you know the topic is medical applications of electrical electronics and high voltage engineering. Okay? The answer the world is looking for. If you see the medical community cannot exist without physicists, chemists, engineers, scientists. Okay? I do not know how many of you know that. I know many of the doctors know that because you know these days even the surgery is being done using robots. Okay? So, they cannot exist without us whether they acknowledge it or not that is different issue. Okay? So, if you see we can use our smartphone not only to call our dear believers, it can be a medical device. And then we can design and connect many devices like non-invasive blood pressure, that is my goal in life. Blood pressure, cholesterol, sugar, blood glucose, connect it to the smartphone and read it. Like you know you have the weighing scale, how you can measure your weight anytime like that. We should be able to measure especially glucose because the world is full of uh, diabetic people type 2 diabetes which is the adults get, we have approximately 350 million people. India is the capital of uh, diabetics, okay? adult diabetics, diabetes 2, like more than 60 million people have, okay? 6 crores, we have how, 
population of 110 crores, 6 crores have diabetes. Okay? So, having diabetes is not a big deal as long as it is under control. Okay? You take the insulin, you are fine, but it is the game does not end there. Okay? You send something. Okay? So, we have to have you know if the diabetes reaches the serious stage, there is amputation. So, okay. Okay, so we will be talking about many of these things. Okay, let me move on. So, yeah, so the, I think we finish all this. Why we are interested in, we are, we are engineers, okay. Someone told me why you are interested in medical. Here it is, okay. Medical is multidisciplinary, okay. As I said before, it comprises of physics, chemistry, mathematics, these days software, robo, and then man machine interaction, okay. Everything, okay. So, we cannot be out of this. Also, if you see medical field, you know, the cost of medicine, the cost of technology, the cost of testing, everything is increasing and it is a trillion dollar business. So, why will we keep quiet? We want part of the pie, okay. We want to be part of it, not only enjoy the benefits of the lucrative business, also contribute to it, okay. So, as I said, the many amputations can be avoided using electrical pulses, we will see that, okay. In addition, also our body is electric, okay. The people will be keep telling that our body is physical, chemical, this and that, but uh, I do not know how many of you know our neurons without electrical signals, our brain cannot function. Without electrical pulses, our heart cannot function. So, our body is an electrical and you know it is also electronics as we see in the next slide, okay. So, what happens? Each of our cell tissue organ can elicit. Okay? Remember by hearing music we get cured, by Reiki we get cured. So, our body is electric, we can elicit, we can develop both diagnostic and therapeutic phenomena using electrical pulses. So, that is what we are going to use it. In addition also our body is Electronics, okay, you can see that you know the membrane receptors can work as a transducers, membrane receptors and DNA can work as inductors, our cell membrane is working as a capacitor, that is what we are going to use in the electrochemotherapy. And then our membranes and DNA works as resonators, and then membrane protein complexes work in tuning circuits. Our you know our what is that um, bone cottage, it works like a what is that thing? cottage will be work like a, another device, semiconductors, liquid crystal protein polymers. So, and you know Dr. Albert Georgi, he is a Nobel laureate, you should read his book Bioelectronics. He says how, you know, if you see the medical, the pharmaceutical company came only past 100 years, before that they did not have and their goal is only to make money, okay. So, we want to beat them all with using electrical and electronics high voltage devices, okay. At least that is my goal. In addition also, okay, using these properties, if you see the cancer cells will have different pH, different temperature, different potassium content, sodium content and hence the resting potential or action potential and then the DNA structure, everything varies. Okay, so, it is easily useful to you for us to apply electrical pulses and get benefit out of it. Okay? And uh, also, um, as part of this course, maybe I would like all of you to read Electrical Properties of Cancer Cells. Okay? It was written by Dr. Steve Altivanger. He is uh, MD, he is in Texas, USA. I spoke with him, I work with him. He even written a chapter in my book. Okay? So, he has written very beautifully, it's 64 pages, you, you could not keep it down. How you know the normal cells differ from cancer cells electrically, okay. So, it is really very good. So, it makes sense to apply electrical pulses to treat diseases, okay, because it is all radiation, you know, know the whole world, the cosmic is made up of electromagnetic radiation, various frequencies, some frequencies we saw, we see some frequencies we hear, some frequencies we use x-ray to diagnose the cancer, some frequencies we use as a radiation to treat the cancer, okay. So, all we have to do is manipulate, okay, the magnitude and the frequency and the duration of application. If you can master these three, okay, intensity of the whatever you apply, how long you apply and how 
frequently you apply, then we are in business. Okay? So, that is what we are going to do this one. And this is not at all new. If you take the 1800s, they were using electromagnets okay, to cure many of the diseases. So, this was al always there. Also, electrostatic phenomena, okay? our ca cancer is an electrostatic phenomena, our DNA and other receptors, they all work using electrostatics. Electrostatics means no current, okay? just the voltage. So, okay? so, using all that, we are going to study how we can use it. Here, I want you to know how this, okay? the membrane will have two types of Okay, it is called bilayer. Okay, one is hydrophobic, another one is hydrophilic. Hydrophobic means it does not like water, phobia, okay, hydrophobia, okay, it does not like water. Other one is hydrophilic. Okay, so, if you see here you have hydrophilic, okay, this is the hydrophobic, hydrophobic, hydrophilic. So, normally it is difficult for external molecules to pass through it. Mother Nature made it such that you cannot, okay easily pass external molecules to it. Otherwise, you know every Tom, Dick and Harry will go inside it. So, you want to protect okay, from infection and other things. Okay. So, we are going to use that, exploit that property. If you see our membrane will like act like a capacitor, you know it is a non-conducting, non-conducting in between okay, two electrodes non-conducting apply high voltage, okay, this is grounded. So, you know what happens. Just like how lightning occurs between the clouds and the ground, you know if the electric field exceeds the normal atmospheric you know voltage gradient, we get lightning. Like that we are going to apply okay, certain voltage, certain frequency and we will open up the pores. What happens normally, the cell membrane does not allow, they, they have calcium channels, potassium channels, sodium channels, some chlorine channels. Okay? They will only work accordingly. They will have, you know, the switches will switch on and off according to the necessity. If you see, when if you are a player, you know, if you are hungry, you take a banana, immediately you will get the boost because it has got lot of potassium. Okay? So, our cells inside you will have lot of pota pota potassium, outside you will have sodium. Okay? these gates will open, they call gates, channel, everything, right? they will open depending upon the requirement. So, sodium can go in, potassium can come out. Okay? So, every three sodium goes in, two potassium will be coming out like that, they will interact very nicely. We have to, you know, supersede this system when we inject the molecule, what happens? They cannot pass through. Okay? Most of the drugs are, you know, hydrophilic, they cannot pass through easily. So, what do they do? They apply that is why heavy dose of chemotherapy and they, they do not distinguish between normal cells and the cancer cells, no specificity. So, what happened? They will kill all the cells. Okay? However, when we use, okay, when you use a tumor is there, we can go directly into the tumor okay, and give the drug, what will happen? Okay? It will the whole drug will concentrate only in the tumor. Okay? Otherwise, when you give systemic, okay, the whole body chemotherapy using IV or pill, the tumor will get hardly 2 to 10 percent. Okay? The rest of the body will have that is why we have all the trouble, all the side effect, also the cost. cost okay? uh, instead, if you have a tumor here, you give the drug here, okay? it does not have to go rest of the body. Okay? All the drug will concentrate in a small area. So, the density will be high. So, what happens? You can see how within two days the tumor will be cured, okay? which is not possible using chemotherapy. Chemotherapy you give every two weeks, minimum 6 to 10 cycles, radiation you give minimum 4 to 24 cycles depends upon. Okay? So, we can avoid all these using the electrical properties of the tumor and applying electrical pulses to open up. Okay, like a lightning, you know how you apply the pulses to the cell membrane, what will happen? Cell membrane thickness is only say 5 to 10 nanometer. Okay? You apply even 1 volt, okay? you apply 1 volt across 10 nanometer, you see the electric field intensity V over D. So, it will open up and then allow the drug to go in. Okay? So, that is what we will be using it. And this will also help, you know, many times we I do not know how many of you here, drug resistance we talk about. Okay? That initially you will respond, your body will respond to chemo and then eventually it will stop because it will come to know. Okay? So, to know all this, we should know the cell details. I do not know, you might have read in high school. Okay? 
the cell is the most complex and basic building block of all organisms. Okay. So, and you know, know how many cells, do you know in how many cells our body has, does anyone have any clue? How many cells we have? Cell biology. Just guess, make a guess. It's our body. We should know what's inside it, can I? We don't know. I know that's the problem. What is in our body? How many cells in our body? Trillions. Okay. Remember, I don't know how many of you know. They used to say we we used to have 33, 33 crores of uh, you know the devas. That turned all based on the number of cells only. Okay. So. The most important part we are interested is the outside, okay, the membrane, because the membrane will have by okay, it is a bipolar phospholipid, okay, lot of phosphorus, phospholipid, it is like a fat, okay. So, this layer we have to cross this layer that is the major challenge of drug delivery, okay. So, once it goes there, then it will go, sometimes it can go into DNA, sometimes it can go in the cytoplasm, okay. This is like a capacitor, outside is conducting, inside is conducting okay? and then these two are non-conducting. So, you have a complex situation here and then if you see mitochondria that is the um, energy center of our cell and the mitochondria it affects the heart performance. So, we can applying like a nanosecond pulses, we can implement the drag to go into the mitochondria and avoid that. Okay. So, we will see more of these when we study the electrochemotherapy and again uh, you know we are more interested in the cancer in this course okay, in addition to diabetes and if you wonder why cancer, does anyone know the seriousness of cancer? Okay. If you see initially you know we had lot of death because of the communicable diseases like cholera, you know, tuberculosis, malaria, it is still a problem in Africa. In Africa, we do not have cancer deaths, you know, only in rich countries like US, New Zealand is number one in breast cancer, okay. UK, Germany, Australia, Japan, now it is coming, okay. Once cancer was a disease of affluent industrialized western countries, now it is everywhere, India is growing, okay, India is catching up for all its okay. So, why is cancer a problem? Okay, cancer does not have a cure, okay, it, we do not even have a control okay. and each year tens of millions of people die because of cancer and it is growing, it is growing, it is growing because of a change in lifestyle. WHO predicted that by 2030 the non-communicable diseases will be less death communic okay sorry non-communicable like cancer diabetes will be the number one death cardiac okay we are doing stent and this and that we are controlling the cardiac disease uh, arrest cardiac diseases but you know we are not able to do that for uh, cancer okay so under the pt is it's very painful death okay so, so the, i will show you some of the cases you will be really really it is painful and uh, the problem with cancer is metastasis means spreading. It will, you want to say something? Yeah? It will spread. So, if it is like heart disease stays there, okay? all you can do is heart transplant something you can do. But cancer it comes in one place, it can nicely go to other places. Cancer is uh, I will say is the inverse problem in the sense normally other diseases try to destroy the body whereas this is it grows and without proper life functions. It grows without any boundaries, okay. Normally, you know the cells respect, it is like you have a, your house is there, you have a wall, you cannot go th through that, but what will do to cancer cells, they will go through that. That is why from the organ, okay, primary ca cancer will go through the blood vessels and it will go everywhere and it can. There are, you know, if you have lung cancer as your primary cancer, it will have different metastases. If you have breast cancer, you will have bone cancer, okay, and then liver cancer, and then brain cancer. Like, you know, people do not know still why, you know, why breast cancer gives rise to these cancers, why lung cancer gives rise to these cancers. Of course, the basic thing like Professor Kishore said, the whole thing is, you know, 
compromise of our body, okay, because we lose the compromise of our immune system, our, our systems, our cells cannot protect ourselves, so they yield themselves, okay. So, it of course, you know breast cancer you get because you are a woman, there is nothing we can do there, okay. So, it depends upon the gender, age, lifestyle, marital status and food, okay. That is why I say the beauty of um, you know living long is we live long. The pity is we get cancer because we do not have many cancers before because we died before that. Same thing happens in Africa, they get you know in aid, AIDS and this and that, they die very soon 30, 40 years. So, they do not have it, okay. But still there are some places they have and they suffer a lot because they do not have proper treatment, okay. So, we will be concentrating on cancer with respect to electrochemotherapy, with respect to medical devices we will be doing with uh, non-invasive of anything like you know diabetes especially, blood pressure and cholesterol. I have done slightly this one. So, overview you all know that we are interested in studying okay, medical devices design and development and then um, building, testing, repair of them, okay. So, we will start with the bio potential bio amplifiers this afternoon. Before that, I will give a overview of all the things we can do it, okay. So, I think I uh, will go through once more the various topics, bio potential and electrodes, ECG, EEG, EMG amplifier design, okay. We will design and then we will build and test. We design in the class, we will build and test it in the lab muscle stimulation, okay. Muscle stimulation is uh, taking a new form now. Again, the problem there is to find out the frequency, intensity and number of pulses, okay. If you see IEEE 2012, I think there is an article. This guy, he went to, you know, um, the war and he has come back. It is his, you know, yeah, from IEEE 2012, which, which magazine? IEEE transactions on okay. spectrum. spectrum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we should get that, okay. So, there if you see, you will be doing muscle stimulation test, okay. They use similar parameters. I did not know at that time, okay, that they were using it. They did not know that I am working on it, okay. So, you can see that great people think alike, okay. So, we will do that one also, okay. So, what I am telling that this are all, you know, simple things, very much doable, only thing we have to implement it, okay. So, cancer is a major, my favorite topic, you know, and so we will be seeing how to use electrical pulses to d deliver cancer drugs. Also, you know, gene transfer, you know, we cannot always do the killing of the cells. So, we can sometimes replace the faulty gene, then the gene will take it. You know, all you need is one cell with the right gene, okay, then they will multiply, multiply, divide, okay. So, they will do. And then another aspect of this electrochemotherapy is what is called irreversible electroporation. It is gaining popularity in uh, US, okay. Electrochemotherapy not in US, okay. I will tell you more about it later. Irreversible electroporation, there is no drag, just you know, in electrochemotherapy we apply 8 pulses with the drug. Here we apply 80 to 200 pulses, no drug, okay. All we are doing it is like ablation, we will burn the tissue, okay. And uh, many times like pancreatic cancer, you know, no pancreatic cancer, it is the deadliest cancer, okay. The five year life expectancy is like hardly four to six percent. Steve Jobs, everybody died because of that, you know that, okay. So, the pancreatic cancer, then also prostate cancer, liver cancer, stomach cancer. Now, in uh, Dr. Robert Martin in Louisville started applying electrical pulses, okay. So, we will see that parameter. So, at least you know your take home will be what are the pulses for electrochemotherapy, pulse parameters for electrogene transfer for irreversible electroporation, okay. And then there are some side uh, notes for that, that also we will see. Then of course, you know to apply these pulses we need pulse generator, okay. So, design and development and we have an expert Dr. Manjanath here, a student. And then we, we built some two pulse generators, so we can see actually we built three or four. Mm. And then comes electric field computation, okay. I say simulation, Professor Kishore said it has to be computation, so it is computation of electric field. Why electric field is important? Electric field exceeds, uh, okay, the threshold value, then only the pores will open, okay. 
The technique is called electroporation because you open a pore supplying electrical pulses through which the drug will go easily. Okay, we will see how uh, what are the a troublesome route for the drug. Okay. So, drug delivery is a challenging thing, you can come up with a nice drug, but uh, delivering it is, is a problem for it. Okay. So, that tunnel we will see that. And then as an engineer if you say I am not interested in cancer, here you go. Okay. We can do medical images using MATLAB okay. and then you can use mammogram and I do not know how many of you know about mammogram. Does anyone know about mammogram? What is the mammogram? No one? Okay, okay. It is a soft, uh, soft x ray, it is a images of soft x ray with images. They oh. can take out for that breast. Okay, breast cancer. Breast. Okay, breast cancer. Is a test for the best breast screening, the screening test, okay? It is kind of uh, similar to your uh, doing ultrasound for abdominal quantities, similar thing for the Okay, and then the problem with that is it is okay. Remember, they say best among the worst. Okay, it's not the best, but it is the best among the worst. It has got what is called false positive, false negative. You know what is false positive means? You won't have the cancer, but it will give a okay result that it is positive. False negative is you will have cancer, but it will say you don't have it. Both are trouble, correct? Because you don't have cancer, it says you have cancer. You know how much anxiety and you will go and do biopsy and unwanted things. Okay. Similarly, you do not have, you have cancer, it says you do not have, so you are happy, then you want to be a fine morning, you see a big tumor comes and this one. And, okay. So, we want to change that. Okay. So, if you talk to the doctors, they will not accept it. Okay. The false positive is like 20 percent, false negative is 10 percent, totally 70 percent accurate it is. What does that mean? 70 percent means if you, if you, you know, if you test 100 mothers, sisters, aunts, wives, daughters, okay, 30 percent will be unnecessarily undergoing that, okay. So, we wanted to enhance the accuracy of it, okay. So, we used that uh, program here. I want to show you how simple it is because I need a volunteer someone eventually to make it, uh, okay. So, it is a four step program, okay. All it does is, okay, you open up uh, the app. My student made it, but uh, it stopped working. So I know and someone to fix it. Yes, I it couldn't is. find it is anyone. A good task for you, IT. Okay. So load mammogram. Okay. All you do is remember they give you X-ray. This this digital. You can have any one of them. Okay. Put it in your photo gallery. Okay. So you go there and say load mammogram. Open up the app. Okay. Maybe I'll start from the beginning because this is the highlight of what I want to show you. Hmm? So, um, I click the app thing. Oh. Okay. So, I say load mammogram, it will go to the photo gallery. Okay. Then just pick whichever is there. Okay. Your photo, your x-ray should be already there. Okay. Then you pick the whatever you want to pick. Okay. Yours. It has three options, exit, back or next. Okay. You click next and if you see it will do all the um, um, calculations okay. using the regression statistical this and that there is. Okay. We will see more when we talk about it. Then it will give you press next, it will give you okay. it is using wavelet and it gives the number. Okay. Based on this it will tell whether it is normal or um, abnormal. Okay. If it is abnormal, whether it is malignant or benign, you know what is benign means? It, it, you have a tumor, but it is not cancerous, okay. malignant. Okay. So, next, so it will give abnormal, okay, normal. The problem in this pro problem is whichever, whether I press it, because I know that we have 322 images. I know some of them are cancerous, some of them non-cancerous. For everything I click, it gives normal. There is a glitch somewhere there. Okay, we have to fix it. Then imagine this can be useful as a second opinion because when some uh, you get a mammogram, you you know they say abnormal, you don't want to go again to get it. Okay, and again mammogram, I have done it two times. It's not a very pleasurable experience. Okay, many women don't do it even in US where it is cheap or free because you have to press hard. Okay. So, many women do not like it. So, this can be a second opinion also. You know many times the uh, radiologist, okay, they do. 
they will have doubt whether it is normal or abnormal okay, gray area at that time we can use this one. So, it will tell if this tells normal you say normal bingo you got it. Okay, this cells normal you, you are suspecting so you can go and do ultrasound or something. So, this can be a great second opinion thing this can be useful for the women to test it again and I am even thinking you know to talk to you know GE makes it semen makes the, all those machines. They can put in okay in addition to the x-ray. Yeah, I have a question here. Yeah. Uh, now, this is going to replace mammogram? No way. No way. This is enhanced the accuracy. No, that's okay. Remember but the radiologist read 70 percent accurate, we could get 94.5 okay, percent. Nothing is, is replacing anything. We are not eating anyone else's lunch. We are just make the lunch palatable, maybe cheaper. No, no, why I was looking, thinking about it is uh, one is it is a painful experience. Okay. It is not very painful, it is tolerable, okay. Okay. it is tolerable that is why because I want to talk about it of course, I am also old correct, so I did it two times. So, I can speak authentically, okay. once I did it first first in 2012 in Trichy, it was not at all painful and then 2013 or 14 I did it in Salem, it was not very pleasant. But come on, getting imagine you getting a cancer and suffering. This is nothing. Okay, it's like an ant biting you. Okay, you know some pe people will make fuss of everything. Be my guest. Okay, so what I'm telling, tell all your women, your mother, your grandmother, everyone, go and take mammogram if they are more than 50 years old. Okay, if you're above 70, normally we don't do it because you know your your tissue and all will be very fatty. You don't get a real one. Also, uh, over 70 getting is very rare, but uh, people get it, okay. People that is the problem with our body, it is so heterogeneous, okay. Anyone can get any time, okay. So, you see that just four clicks, okay. So, I was having lot of hopes for this to put it in the Google store and then everybody will buy it for 99 dollars, it did not work out, but it will happen one day, okay. First, I will give beta testing for maybe if you. Uh, yeah, I have all the thing, you know. He is good at IT applications. Okay, very good. With electrical engineering background. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what electrical engineers can rule the world. Okay, we have to, we have the capacity, we have to implement it. Okay, so that one. Okay, another one was same thing. Diabetic retinopathy. You know, if you have diabetes, your blood vessels, your retinal, okay, your eye blood vessels will be little swollen. So, from the diabetic retinopathy, we can find out whether you have diabetes. The problem there is not all diabetic people will have that swelling. So, we have to do more study. But anyway, we started that also, okay. So, we can and both of these got the best poster award in our college, okay. So, because people liked it that you know we are working on something. And similarly, non invasive blood pressure monitor. You said someone is working on that, correct? Okay. How accurate is that? No, give me the numbers. What measure? What did you measure on you? I measured photoplethysmograph seeing PPT seeing. I know. Yeah, and uh, from that, what exactly do you want to know? I mean, uh, there what is systolic over, you know, 130 oh, over 70. Yeah, How much you got? Oh, I'm getting uh, for systolic uh, error is much less. I mean, no, give me the numbers. What you measure? Do, do, don't give me the uh, error. Give me your numbers. Okay, okay. Say for person, I have, I'm getting something like 150 and 75. Okay, that's and good. Then I'm uh, with my our algorithm and stuff getting somewhere around 113 and 73 or maybe 107. That's good, no? Mm. But not always. I mean, because PPT signal is a very uh, not very stable signal because oh. whenever someone is moving his fingers and stuff, a bit, the signal starts getting a bit distorted. Right now, um, we are stuck at a problem which is for a person, if a person comes to us for the first for the, for the first time, we have to use some kind of a you know curve based old uh, spiral manometric method for the first time. Then we are getting so certain constant values and we can keep it as a store and later on use those values to get the properly. So, it means that you need a reference signature. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, Sorry, you that need that reference signature. Yeah, that, uh, machine when machine you talk about this radiation, have you looked at the spread of the radiation? Which uh, radiation? So, you said uh, every reading, hmm. uh, all the times you are making a measurement, accuracy is not good enough. So, Nikki, let's say you are taking 100 samples. Yeah. How does it spread? Okay, okay, okay. That spreads somewhere between plus 15 to minus 15, something kind of a Gaussian distribution kind of thing. Not exactly Gaussian, but 
distributed over plus 15 to minus 15, mostly within the plus minus 5. Do we have a pulse oximetry here? We have in new department. Okay, yeah, we are going to build ECG. Okay, in this case, what we did, please have a seat. Uh, we measured the pulse oximetry, and then we measure our ECG, and then we have an equation. You use that, you will get that. Okay, so I will show you. Yeah, that is based on uh, pulse transit time and all those things. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, yeah you would calculate, yeah. yeah, yeah our, Which is our, better? Our task is to actually get rid of ECG, otherwise, if you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, ECG, okay, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Very good. Uh, okay, okay. That is a good idea, but you know, I thought anyway, you know, it is good to measure with ECG and then you can use it for many other purposes, but yeah, that is very good, okay. And then also, you know, weight finder. How many of you have gone and they poke you? I have done many times, okay. Even to take blood for simple thing, they will do that, okay. So, using LEDs, LEDs of you know, red LED, blue LED, or infrared, we can do that, okay. We tested and it is. Again, everything I did one, the student graduates and it st stops there, okay. So, we can do all that, okay. So, everything, all these I have done it, okay. So, we will see and uh, do whatever possible in this course class, okay. So, we are thinking to do this one ECG amplifier, EEG amplifier, EMG, okay. If you know one, the other three, two are easy, okay. Simple to do that. Muscle stimulation, electrochemotherapy using their uh, generators. Design of pulse generators, electric field yeah, distribution. I have a, a question. Yeah. Uh, among the three, ECG, EEG, and EMG, mm -hmm. probably ECG, uh, they are all non contact type ones, there is no piercing, right? No, no, no just put the electrodes. Uh, uh, For EEG, you put it here. I know. You ECG, put it there, okay. It is only the designing is the, the thing, okay. So, for example, ECG amplifier, you will have the values around 4 millivolt, okay. You want to make it at least 0.5 to 1 volt. E EEG, you know, electroencephalio from brain, because brain will create like 100 microvolt, but when we measure on scalp, it will be like uh, 1 to 40 microvolt, okay. Again, so you need more. So, you have to have more stages, that is it. EMG, it is similar, okay. In the frequencies are slightly different. So, we will see that muscle stimulation we use like a 1 volt, 10 volts at various frequencies, square waves, uh, sine wave, you know, rectangular, triangular. Which one do you think is most painful? Square waves, sine wave, triangular, which you, which you do you think will be most painful or mo your skin is sensitive? Square wave, you know, correct? Someone's square wave, why? It is a change, transition, you know. See, sine slowly it I goes. Say transition and the energy is also very high in the No, no, keeping that everything that else same, just the shape. Is. Transition in that sense, or I mean, did you mean simple triangular or sawtooth kind of a Sawtooth. The, there also the transition. I know, but that is less, that is what we, we found. We will do that this time, okay. You try with all the three, see which one you, 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 you feel it. Compared to square, triangular is like this. So, so you're. If you are, I mean, rate of rise, okay. Okay. Hmm? See, if you see square, truly yeah. square is never a square. It's a trapezoid. Okay. Okay. Then. Yeah. Hmm? So all these small all these, these things. Because see, I. I mean, uh, switching over in infinitesimal time. Yeah. I do this even in my 200 level now. You know, electronics for non-electrical engineers. Okay, the students love it. You know, they'll put the EMG here, here, there, everywhere. They want to measure. So it will be the lab will be so fun. Okay, that's the kind of thing I want here also. Okay, any questions so far? Do you understand what we want to do and uh, how we are going to do? Is there anything else you would like to do, or is this good enough? Okay, as we go, we can pick it up. Okay, remember you have five percent for interaction. So, please feel free to talk and okay, and uh, this is you know, no, we are all adults, so we want to share everything. You know, sharing is the uh, name of the game these days, correct? You share everything. So, we will uh, share I everything. I would like to add here, uh, gone are the days when you think in terms of uh, it is a one way process for learning, learning is a two way process, and it is a collaborative learning, not competitive. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, feel free. I am a vegetarian, I won't bite you, okay. So, you have to talk, <laughs> freely talk, do not worry about it at all, okay. Yeah. Electric field distribution, 
Yes. What way it is helping? You are seeing the any steps, aspects of electric field distribution. Remember, if you have a cancer, you put the um, the needle. Okay, we are going to put the needle. That is our electrode to apply the electrical pulse into the cancer uh, tumor. So, what happens? Remember, the needle will have the concentration of that one. And then, if you see, if we use like 8 needle electrode, 4 positive, 4 negative. Okay? The gap between them is 4 millimeter, between the each needle 2 millimeters. You will see that between the positive to negative, the field is very uniform. Okay? So, the field is you know mo mostly concentrated in the tumor. So, what happens? Nearby areas will be less affected because many people ask that what happened to nearby areas as if you know in surgery won't you get nearby areas affected in radiation, but anyway you know we are mother nature is in our favor because I told you know if you see the normal okay, resting potential of normal cell will be like minus 70 millivolt whereas the cancer will be neg negative 15 millivolt. So, easily less resistive. So, easily current will flow through that one. Also, we know that electric field intensity is proportionate to 1 over r squared. So, the nearby areas the intensity will reduce 1 over the distance squared. So, the probability of okay, so the nearby areas would not be affected much. Okay, so, it is it is uh, it works in our favor. Okay. So, here is yeah it looks like I have to learn your technique yeah here because this is what I came someone told me and we did it and we worked on it. Okay. You measure the ECG because we built as first my first in, I teach this class many places including IIT Miro. So, my first lab will be ECG and then we did the PC, PPG. This is a project okay, of that course and then they use that equation and you can see that. Okay. So, the, he got you know that was uh, Sri Harsh, he got 136 over 80. You know for youngsters uh, 136 is little high, but that is that is not a bad value. Okay. Sorry it does not look good here, when we talk more about it we will see that. Okay. We got 136 over 80 and we have to do more thing. Again remember our body is a our weapon, our dress can be our weapon our you know our cap can be our weapon everything can be useful to our favor okay so if you don't know um, that uh, you know infant death syndrome is very common in western countries and um, you know the child will be sleeping in daycare or anywhere and it will die even in india it happens i don't know how many of you know it i know it okay and uh, one very drastic case is in Saudi Arabia, a uh, few months or few years ago, okay, one baby died. Okay, the parents left with the the woman is from South India, okay, the nanny, okay, or servant, whoever you call. The baby died because of infant death syndrome. Guess what they did? Do you know in what kind of punishment they gave in Saudi Arabia? Okay because it is not her fault, there is no, I do not know why the doctors did not test and tell that it is an infant death syndrome or something, unnecessarily they kill that girl. Okay. So, for that kind of things, okay, if you put this, it is only calls, okay, cost 200 dollars, we can make it in India much, much cheaper. Okay. It will give you okay, a measure of the breathing, the body temperature and then activity to warm okay, possible symptoms. So, that we can say and if you connect it, you know, to your cell phone when you are at home at work, you know, you get a phone call telling something is wrong with the baby, you come running. Okay, so that is the kind of things. Okay, we is can. There a physiological explanation for this Physiological? Yeah. And I don't think so. You see, it occurs so rarely. Uh, they they don't have it. As I know, you know, peop, the baby sleeps and it dies. Many times they won't even take it to biopsy. That's the problem. We won't have enough data, you know, we should do that. Every day, they, death should be analyzed, we do not do it because it used to be very cheap before, now you know, there also they make money and you know, the false uh, people, some people can give false. Yeah, mm. yeah, the problem we have to do this in, uh, in the Middle East because they are really ruthless, that is why I decided I will not travel there. Okay, here is okay, another, it is a you know, workout uh, dress. So, you, it will more, more, you know, monitor your calories spent, your heart rate, this and that. Now, they are trying to do, okay, add some more so that it will 
you can you know um, tell whether you have breast cancer symptoms or not. Okay. For example, if you see take a diabetics, you were breath, your breath will have ammonia more there. Okay. So, like there from our breath, from our you know um, from our waste, from our liquids, body liquids, we can come up with many things. Okay. I am telling all this, so one of you can come up with something great. Not only you make money, you save lot of people. Okay. So, it is a beautiful uh, win-win situation. Okay. And again, you'd, I, I do not know about yet also no cricket you have problem, but you know in US, uh, baseball no, football, it is US football. Okay. You know they will go and hit and uh, concussion, you know many students die, 17, 18 year olds they die in the field, but you know because they, they are the best players, they would have got hurt, but you know you want to win it, so they will send it, they will not give enough time to rest for him. Okay, so, that is why now uh, there are cases, there are rules, how long you know if you get concussion, how long you have to sit all those rules and again there is no one to police it. Okay. So, here it tells you okay, a skull cap aims to prevent concussions okay, by monitoring athletes head injuries. Okay. So, this is a major thing, many young you know like 22, 23 year old or even few months ago one guy died very famous athlete, okay. they all die you know. And then I think you all know about genomics correct and uh, we have cancer atlas which will tell what are the genes responsible for cancers. Okay. So, this uh, professor she came up with a very cheap like 2 dollars, it costs right now like it was before many thousand dollars now, um, cheapest is like you know few hundred dollars. Okay. So, she has uh, plans to make it like 10 dollars, 2 dollars and she is trying in uh, Africa because you know there only they need this. So, she is she is got a 250,000 grant from US agency for international development. So, it will she will be testing there okay, in Rwanda. So, all this tells you that you know we can use our cell phone, uh, we can use wearable devices, smart clothes, smart apps, smart algorithms okay, to a winning product which will be low cost, low power better performance user friendly. Okay. This is the today's demand. Okay. You have no choice but to go for a low cost, low power, more okay, better performance user friendly. So, if you combine these two, you got a winning product. Okay. So, that is what uh, I tell in my classes, so someone can build that. Okay. So, here comes mammograms. Okay. We use high voltage to generate x-rays and then to study the flesh, okay, our body flesh. Okay and we have false positive, false negative and you know it is 20 percent, 10 percent. So, normally it is 70 percent, you talk to the doctors they say 90 percent. So, okay, how they say we do not know that. Okay. This, uh, the severity of this breast cancer is each year we get 1 million new cases okay, out of which 550,000 people die. Okay. 1000 thousand times okay 1000 thousand is 1 million 550000 die that means 50% death if you take us they get 200000 new cases 40000 die only 20% take india they get uh, 100000 people get 40000 die okay 40% cell death yes 40% death rate Excuse me, if you want, you can switch on by this one because I told them to switch off. But, uh, hmm. So, if you see in India, the death rate is twice US. Worldwide, it is more than both countries, 50 percent. That means many poor countries they do not have proper uh, devices, proper screening, proper treatment. Okay. So, here we can do a lot by having a mammogram which is so cheap. For example, I will tell you. Ethiopia, okay, 83 million people. There is only one clinic in Addis Ababa, the capital. Okay, their ladies wait for six months. Okay, remember in uh, developing and uh, uh, underdeveloped countries, women come only when it is advanced stage. When it is you know early stage, they don't come. They don't care. Okay. So, when you come advanced stage, you have to wait in the line, okay, for radio radiation radiologist to see you they die with pain. Okay. This is what it hurts me, bothers me. You can die, everybody born has to die, but how you die, 
with pain, suffering, it is not worth it. Okay? So, this is where we all can help. Okay? So, remember 1 million people, even if we say 5 percent, 50,000 women we are helping. Who knows that could be our sister, our mother, our grandmother. Correct? So, that is what it is. Okay? So, we want to do that one. So, I showed you that app. So, Sharanya, my student did it, she is working now for Cisco. Okay? So, it will tell whether normal or abnormal, in abnormal, whether it is benign or malignant. Okay? So, it is doable. So, if someone wants it, I have all the data, you can use it. Okay? And then, where am I? Okay? And if you wonder, I am also in a high voltage engineer. Okay? This is what I was doing, testing the insulators. We had a world class chamber, thanks to my students. This is what made me. Okay? I was testing the silicon polymer, silicon rubber. It has SIO, SIO, okay? the, it is inorganic and then CH3 organic. That is the beauty of the silicon rubber. Okay? We use it for breast, uh, you know, building silicone for silicone is for everything even to coat you know we use that okay so the uniqueness is it has got both inorganic and organic components so it has the benefit of both the ch3 makes it okay hydrophobic that's why when you use it for polymeric insulator the water doesn't stay on the surface so it will uh, conduct all the time okay porcelain doesn't have that so that way it beats that okay only problem with this is life because as long as no org it is fine. Okay? When there is an arc, it is just plastic, correct? 200 degrees, it will burn. Okay? So, when I saw this and then I saw that, that our, you know, our protein, our amino, gro amino groups, everything, they have C, H and you know, and then N and then C, H 3 side chain, carbon, carbon and carboxyl groups. Okay? And I attended this uh, talk and I thought, okay, instead of testing that, why not I test on humans? Okay? So, it happened 2002. Since then, I am working on this one. Okay? So, again, okay, cancer is electrostatic phenomena. So, I will skip all this if you want to more details. Okay? I have a lot of details. And, okay? and then, worldwide cancer statistics. Okay? Um, there is more incidence in North America, less death. Okay? If you see, the highest um, the death is in black. Okay, both men and women. Mm, men is prostate cancer, women is breast cancer. Okay, so, so no one has found out. They have less incidence, but they have highest death of all the races. Okay, so I'm working on that because they have what is called TNBC, triple negative breast cancer. Normally, how they treat the you know the you'll have receptors like estrogen, progesterone, and DU2. Okay, this triple negative will have none of those. So, how can you treat? So, the conventional treatment does not help them. Okay? Again, most of them will be single women, they would not have good job, they would not have insurance, okay? they will go to the doctor, they will skip mammogram, they would not see the doctors. Okay? There was an article in Reader's Digest. This woman, she did not have anyone for her baby to put in daycare, so she did not go. If you do not go for your chemo cycles, who is the sufferer? You know? you suffer and die. Okay? Another thing is barriers to drug delivery. Remember, when you take a pill, it has to pass through the whole body, you know, our intestine and everything and you know, know our stomach has the acid, you know, it is a pH is 2, you know, know the neutral is 7, our body is normally 7.4. Okay? We need it is better to be alkaline. Okay? That is why cancer means acidic. Okay? So, two, if it is two means it will, it can easily digest, kill anything. Okay? Still, uh, we need that uh, heat, that thing for digesting our food, okay? but medicine it is different properly. So, it has to pass through many of the things okay? and again many times when we take a medicine for uh, cancer, different metabolic activities can occur. Okay? For example, curcumin, the turmeric, you all know turmeric, we put in the curry. Okay? It is supposed to be excellent anti-inflammatory, anti-cancerous, anti-everything. The problem is it does not stay in the bloodstream for long. Okay? The bioavailability is short. Okay? So, now they are putting it to nano capsules, nano uh, polymers, nano materials and then, okay? and then they are injecting using electroporation and other things. Okay? So, there is a problem with the drug delivery. Okay? We can come up with many drugs 
not sure it will go and it, it can be delivered properly and it can be working properly. This is another issue, okay. So take this, okay. These are very commonly used um, breast cancer drugs, okay. Okay, one second, okay. So, you can see that the response rate is 25 to 40 percent, 17 to 54 percent, 21 to 41 percent, meaning the rest of the 60 percent people do not benefit out of it, okay. So, how do we deal with it? Okay, with this I stop, we will have something then we will continue. Thank you so much.
Is everyone back? Yeah, some yeah, of their, see. some are missing. Okay, fine, we'll continue, okay. So yeah, you know the response rate of the commercial B, okay, BPA, what's that? Yeah, depot. Mm. Approved drugs, okay, what is that? Uh, it's very low, okay. So you can see that not only you are paying for that, you are not getting benefit of it. So we have to alleviate all these problems. Drug delivery is an issue, response rate is an issue then drug resistance is issue, is issue and then you know the availability of the drug hardly 10 percent will be only available to the respective places. So, we want to use what is called electrochemotherapy. Okay. The concept is really simple all okay. we go directly to the tumor where it is we, we it is not systemic it is targeted therapy it is okay it is local. So, if you have a tumor here okay what we do is we give light sedation okay, and then we give local anesthesia. Okay. So, this part will be anesthetized, so you do not feel anything. First you will inject the chemo drug, you will inject less dose because remember all the medicine concentrates here, it does not go anywhere else, we do not have to give the same uh, dosage as you give. Okay. People have found up to 100 times, okay, 100 to 1000 times the potency, okay, the efficacy, the effect. So, you can give one thousandth of a dose or at least one tenth of the dose okay. and then you apply pulses. Okay. First you apply the drug and then you apply the pulse. We apply 2200 volts per centimeter. Okay. If it's basically, the electrode gap will be 4 millimeters. So, we apply 480 volts, okay. 480 volts across 4 millimeters is 0.4. 1200 volts per centimeter, 100 microsecond, very short duration, okay, 8 pulses. Initially, we were doing 1 pulse per second, 1 hertz. Nowadays, people do 5000 hertz, 2000 hertz, anything. The way you know, tell me, is it better to have low frequency or high frequency when you apply electrical pulse? Do you want low frequency or high frequency? High frequency, correct. Why? Because if you remember our body will anything 30 hertz and below we can perceive, we can see it, we can feel it. Okay, if it is high frequency when you apply like 1 hertz you will see, okay, you can see that 8 times your body will respond whereas if you apply 5000 hertz only once you will see that. Okay. So, that way it is better, okay. the, the patient it is better. So, this is what it involves, okay. electric pulse generator and then the electrodes, anti cancer drug surrounds the cell. If it is 30 hertz and below, we can feel it, we will perceive it. If it is higher than that, we do not feel it. So, if you apply 1 hertz, 8 pulse, you will feel 8 times, whereas if it is 5000 hertz, you only will feel once. Okay. So, and, okay, when you apply the, you inject the drug, the drug cannot pass through the membrane. So, the drug molecule will stay outside and then you apply the pulse, you know, you apply the pulse, the membrane is like a capacitor you apply the pulse you know 1 volt across oh, 10 nanometer. So, you have 10 power 8 volts per meter very high electric field it opens up the pores allows the drug to go in. Okay. So, opens up the pores allows the drug to go in and all the drug will concentrate in this area okay, in this smaller area instead of all over the body. So, you can have very high potency okay, very potent effect. So, you can see that I have seen it, you know, I have seen the surgery in Italy first, then Ireland, in India, I have done tens of surgeries. Even, okay, when if it is like a big one, one in one case, that fellow had a big tumor here, okay. So, I was watching, you know, by the time he finishes, it is only 4 millimeter gap, so you have to apply many times, it was reddish and bleeding and all, okay. By the time the surgeon finished it, he was a surgeon, okay. It became bluish, you know. No, once it become bluish, things are better. It will start healing, okay. So that's very important. The color. That's why you know people talk about uh, blind people getting admission to medical college. Personally, we have nothing against it. But remember, a doctor should be able to see your face, the color, okay, the texture, 
he can tell whether you are feeling good or not. Okay. So, that one they will miss. Okay. So, I know because they there was a case in the US okay, that uh, you know he wants to study medical okay, by all means, but you know like these small, small things you will miss it. You know, technology can do only so much, you know, he can use some device which will show oh the color is pinkish, the color is bluish, I have accurate, what is the error rate. Okay? So, we have to be sometimes practical with all due respect to blind people, okay? we have to respect them, but you know they have their own place that is according to me. Okay? So, the concept is this is what it is, okay. it will pass through the membrane, it can go into the DNA transport, it can go to um, you know mitochondria and all. How do we know where it goes, what we can do? We can attach receptors which will have you know go and join that place, so we can do that way also. We have not done that because we, we did some studies, automatically it went. For example, I do not know whether I have it here. Okay, I was in Northwestern Medical School, they do electrogene therapy, okay. it is for acute uh, lung disease. Okay. So, uh, like thou, um, 10 lakhs people get that, many people die, so it is a major issue there. So, what they do, first they do in animals, okay. you cut a slit here, inject the gene okay, here and then you apply the pulse across the chest. Okay. It was like a 400 gram rat, big rat. Okay. So, it, you apply the pulses and then you euthanize it, you take the lung and see it, you can see that the you know the gene th was nicely uniformly distributed and then the um, un, okay, you, we only did for one lung, the other lung was unpulsed, the unpulsed lung will be pinkish, the pulsed lung will be reddish, so you know that. Okay. So, you can see that, that there is a change in the then. Of course, when we did the pathology, there was not much change. So, the pathologist was apologizing, oh you do not have much change, we were all happy. See we did something and there is no change in the physiology, that means that is a great technique, right? because if you see any change then people will question us. We did electroporation, we did gene transfer, the, you know, the tissue looks fine, normal like, you know. of course the color change. Many of these things 24 hours they vanish, okay? they die down, yes. Change. The beneficial change is the recovery. Okay, the beneficial change is the, the, the tumor, the bleeding tumor becoming, okay, vanishing and becoming bluish and curing. That's what it is. And here we are talking gene therapy. We use less dosage. Remember, I told 1200 volts per centimeter to 100 microsecond, eight pulses for electrochemotherapy. For electrogene therapy, we use 200 volts per centimeter. 10 millisecond. Okay, we increase the duration, reduce the intensity, and then eight pulses. Okay, so the same thing we do. Then, Doctor David Dean, he was in Chicago. He did it. That's where I was spent eight months. Then he now is in Rochester. He's still doing this. Okay, now first we did with like 14, 15 gram mice, then 450 gram rat. Then he, he did it on like 120 pound, uh, you know, pig, like my size. They'll be. So, you cut it and inject and I only did all the you know take all the pots and then you do that uh, luciferase assay to study you know what is the distribution, how much it went, uh, which tissue it went more you know you do that for lung and uh, liver and uh, all those things. Okay. So, uh, I enjoy working on dead bodies because live bodies is difficult for me <laughs> you know. So, we did that. Okay. So, it is there, but it is not yet commercialized in gene therapy. Remember, initially in 1988, the France one person died. Since then, there is a ban on it. So, we are not doing any clinical trials. We do preclinical on animals. Okay. So, again, these are the cartoons which illustrate the concept. Okay. This is the normal tissue okay. when you do nothing, when you apply electrical pulses, okay, it opens up. Okay, the tissue integrity is compromised, it opens up, allows the drug to enter. Okay. For the drug to enter, you should have the drug already present there. Okay. So, that is the first step is you apply the drug, okay. you apply the, you know, inject the drug. How long you have to wait? Few minutes, like 4 to 6 minutes, okay. just for the drug to go and spread it. 
and then you apply the pulse opens up the pores okay, and then it goes in and does the magic. Okay. As I told you, you can see the tumor curing okay, like you know in one case uh, we will see that later still I want to tell you to indicate the importance. Okay. One gentleman he is in Chennai only it is called sarcoma, sarcoma means tissue okay. when you have a soft tissue cancer it is called sarcoma. He had a big thing in the thigh, okay, one and a half years bedridden, even his wife would not go to that room, it would foul smelling, okay, fungating, bleeding and all, his daughter will go and do something. They did three operations, okay, recurrent, recurrent advanced bleeding, fungating, foul smelling, what do you do? Normally you let them die, suffer and die, okay, as I said dying is not a problem, suffer and die. Then we tried electrochemotherapy. He was in third floor, okay. We took the machine and we tried. Within two weeks, he went to the bathroom and took shower. He was lying there for one and a half years, yes. If this uh, drug will go inside uh, a laser, then. Uh, That's what I, okay. There, uh, can I use that thing? Yeah. So here, here is the tumor, okay. So you apply the pulse. This is the electrode. When you apply the electrode, you see there will be equivalent, okay. The electric field will be uniform here. In the rest of the places, it will be slower, reduced intensity. So it will all the drag will concentrate here, all the field will concentrate here. So, like this you will apply it to okay, you you will be overlapping okay, you do 4 millimeter, 4 millimeter, 4 millimeter, 4 like that you do that. So, it will be mostly concentrating in the tumor area. Yes, we do sometimes slightly okay, because remember there can be some cells here, but mostly we will only do it for the cells. So, it will concentrate there and then electric field is concentrated within the electrodes. That is the beauty of this technique. Does not go and also I told you know before that word that E is proportional to 1 over R squared, correct. So, when you go distance it will reduce by distance squared. So, you will have less field there. So, normal tissue will not be affected much. Did it answer your question? It will, yeah, of course, it will, you know, very less only will go, the intensity will be low. So, it will not be, the in, you know, the effect will will not be as much as in this one. I told you, you know, the resistivity, okay, is I, different, epsilon r is different. So, I will answer the question. Thanks. The way it is, how is the chemotherapy being done today? It is either intramuscular or intravenous. When it is done intramuscular, intravenous, intramuscular means it spreads over a larger tissue area, intravenous means to a some more, but whereas here you are doing at the cellular level, so the scope of spreading is much lower. The whole idea of that is that you are doing with smaller amount of drug and lower spread. Mm -hmm. And the drug Very is non-permeable, so it is, it cannot uh, easily uh, diffuse It cannot the easily go into the normal sense, correct. Whichever only you know dividing cells only it can go. So that is another beauty, okay. See, normally the chemotherapy only dividing cells it can be there. Here it does not matter, cell is dividing or not, we can go and uh, do it. Yes? So, inside uh, instead uh, needle electrode, we can use the plate. Electrode yes, electrode yes. Electrode. If it is bulky, you need to penetrate, you need needle, okay. If it is like flat, we use, um, yeah. I told you know that uh, the lung thing, we use a plate electrode which will cover like this, okay. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, we can use many electrodes, very good, good question. Others, everything is as clear or it is as clear as mud and you do not want to ask question, yes. Give, give us the dimension of uh, the electrodes and the uh, amplitude of that pulse. Yes, please. 
where you will be arriving at those dimensions, you will be looking at the pulses, everything in the course of the core program. Right now you are only, the base is being built so that you know how to design those things. Okay, so this is 4 millimeter and this is 2 centimeters, 2 millimeters. Okay, one is positive negative. Okay, so we apply 480 volts across 0.4 centimeter. Okay, so V over D is uh, E 1200 volts per centimeter. Okay, remember it is only 100 microsecond, okay, 8 pulses. So, once we stop the pulses, it will what is called resealing, the cell membrane will come to original position, okay, the pores will be gone, 100 microsecond, 8 pulses. Typically in the lab, we apply 1 hertz, 1 Senex and another EGA, they all lose 500, 5000 hertz and then someone uses 2000 hertz okay this is europe and now they are building in sweden actually this thing is built in uh, germany they bring it to india okay that is 2000 hertz but in, if you see originally they use 1 hertz okay dr julie gel in denmark she used uh, the pulsar which i use for my lab she used to treat a old person, okay, 68 year old. See, this is another thing. These are all like palliative cases, left with nothing, okay. They did a surgery, I told you know, three times surgery, the doctor gave up. Radiation, once you re-radiate, you cannot be any effective. Once you radiate, the nerves will lose their sensitiveness, okay. You cannot re-radiate it. So, these are all inoperable, radiation resistant, chemo resistant, advanced, recurrent, bleeding, fungating, false smelling. I think you, you will not understand the case I am talking because if you see the patient, you smell it, you see it, you will be right. Is everybody clear what a palliative cure means? Palliation means you just give medicine to keep them See, there is a very simple thing. Uh, the birth and death are not by the choice of the individual, first and foremost. Okay, so even if you want to die, you cannot die. Okay, but in some countries like Sweden, probably in some parts of the US, there is a concept called euthanasia where you are assisted to die. But in a country like India, euthanasia is still not legal. Okay, and basically there are certain like what Madam was telling is that the disease makes you unbearable to live through your life, even to do what you want to do. Therefore, you make a system. This is called palliative cure, care. It is, that is what is done. In fact, that people are, uh, they get very susceptible to infections and other things. In fact, palliative care sometimes is done at home, not in a hospital, because you can catch a lot of infections. And that is where it helps. Because even now, this is not approved by the Indian Medical Council. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why is the frequency so uh, high? Because so that the person feels it just for once and not mm. for eight days. Correct. Uh, up to what stage of cancer can it be used? Oh, all the stages, but normally in advanced stage, okay, stage four and three. Uh, so earlier stages, earlier stage not yet, but in Italy and they are trying. You know, they so want they, to have. This community can make it. That's the whole idea of bringing this course here that we propagate and probably we are the ad ambassadors to Indian Medical Council to make it legal. Should we try to uh, make field uh, uniform for the tumor? Because That's why, right. remember I told you, the, ga the, the electrodes are only 4 millimeter gap. So, field will be normally uniform. So, you apply, if you have like 10 centimeters, eh, you apply many times. Okay, you apply, take it, apply, take it, apply, take but it. But at the boundaries, the field will not be uniform. At the bound, no, yeah, those are all there. You can, okay, whatever surgery, yeah, you do not even know how deep this this tumor is, you only will take, okay. Yes, they are all, they are all there, they will be there. It, despite all that, it is still uh, very effective. Hmm? Yes, those are all there. If you go, yeah. Uh, normal uh, cell can be 
Breakdowns. The normal cell will stand it. Okay, it will have more breakdown strength compared to uh, cancer cells. That's why remember the uh, resting potential is minus 15 millivolt. That means it okay the resistance. If it, this is like one mega ohm, this will be like you know uh, less resistant, like 200 to 1000 times less. So you know no current will flow through In that case, the. Uh, when we are applying the voltage. Yeah. Normal cells won't be. Uh, Less okay. will be less affected. Less correct, affected. correct. Yeah, that's yes. what that's what I keep telling. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah, the yeah the electrical properties are different, and then the field is one over d squared or squared whatever it is. So both will work with us. That's why I you know once I learned this, I was so amazed. Mother Nature made so beautiful for us. Imagine if it were the opposite. No, you go back to the literature by Daimler where he talks about the electrical shock. Now you take a dry skin, dry skin, what happens? The impedance is very high. So we will take a damp skin, impedance is lower. Take a torn skin, impedance is even more lower. So, that's so like that, you know, if you take a cancer uh, skin, the tumor will have lot of blood vessels because they have to survive. So they will go and you know, they are really, they are the personification of how we want to live. Because the pity is they kill us, okay? Because they are so aggressive, they will go and steal. You know what's the buyback, borrow, steal? They will do. That's what they do. You know, but eventually all their growth will lead to <coughs> death unless they are confined in one organ. The minute they spread, it cannot help. But still, you know, in one case, the lady had a breast cancer. Within two years, she had bone metastasis. You know, you know, no bone, very severe pain. Okay. She had like 10 radiation, pain did not reduce. We give two sittings, pain reduced 80 percent. She can drive, she can do everything. But the doctor advised her not to drive because you know the jerk might break the bone, okay. So, otherwise, she can do many things which she could not do that one, okay. So, 10 radiation. And remember, this is also very cheap comparatively, okay, very cheap. Um, okay, other questions? So, more more these are illustrations of the concept, okay. How when you apply the pulse, opens up the pores, allow the drugs to go in and does the magic. And very few people capture the pores. People will ask, okay, where is the pore? I do not have to show you the pore, I show you the patient, cured patient, okay. I say I am an application person, I am more interested in the results then in the you know nitty gritty of the details nut and bolts. And I am very convinced of this approach because you know I read if NASA is trying to solve the nth order equation they would have never landed any man. You know that is when the digital technique came they did the approximation and they solved the equation they put the man in the moon correct. By the way Armstrong is from Purdue okay 1954 graduate okay before you and I born. So. So, this one Dr. Zimmerman, we can consider him as the father of this technique, okay. He only did it a uh, lot of work in the 1970s, okay. Here he showed at various, you know, uh, ma uh, magnifications, how using 2 kV per centimeter, you can just open up the cells and then using 4 kV per centimeter, you know, how you can open more of the cells, okay. And then at 5 k per centimeter, it is the 22,000 magnification. You know the mitochondria or the internal organelles of the cells have come out. Okay, so by increasing, this is what is the called that irreversible electroporation. Normally, electroporation means reversible. You apply 1200 volts per centimeter, 100 microsecond short pulses, eight of them, and that's it. This okay, the membrane comes back to original position. It's called resealing. Here we can do what is called irreversible, no sealing. That way we can burn the tissue, okay. That is what they do for pancreatic and then prostate cancer because it is advanced stage. Normally they are left to die within 3 to 6 months. Here they he treated 54 patients, 53 of them lived from 10 months to 22 months, okay. One person died because of metastasis, not because of the treatment, okay. So, like that, it is really, really very effective, potent treatment. But not everybody knows its beauty, its advantage, so it is not very common. 
and then being an electrical engineer we cannot uh, you know stop without an equation. So, actually the equation is really long, but for DC it can be shortened ok. So, I have one thesis done by undergrad ok, various um, waveforms, various uh, time constant all that if you want we can do that one also using MATLAB ok. Here we can simplify this to voltage ok, the threshold voltage equal to 1.5 times the electric field times the radius, the radius of the cell. The radius of the cell will be typically 10 to 50 microns, our hot cell will be the longest one ok, it will go like 120 micron, otherwise typically 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 microns will be the radius and then so using this equation we can calculate what is the threshold electric field ok to give rise to the uh, opening of the pores. So, E equal to V divided by 3 over 2 ok over R assuming V equal to 0 0.5 to 1 volt ok we can write as E critical huh? the critical electric field we need to allow electroporation to happen is 4 V C ok V critical divided by 3 D ok. Here we are using diameter, here we are using radius ok. So, that uh, 1.5 1, 1 is 3 over 2 divided by 2 we have 3 over 4, 4 comes to the neuron ok, New, um, numerator. So, this is the equation. Here if everything else is constant, uh, constant like you know the drug molecule, the same cell everything, if everything else is constant we can see that the electric field is 1 over diameter ok, bigger the diameter you need lower the electric field because you know the lower electric field times d will give you the same voltage anyways ok, it is the threshold voltage. So, this is the equation and uh, if the ok. Uh, when you are writing this equation in terms of d alone, mm -hmm. you have uh, ok, v c is absorbed in the yeah. point 1 to 6. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but remember this is just to show you ok, when everything else is constant, when will be everything else constant? Uh, I mean uh, what I look at it is 6.7 to 13.1, mm -hmm. it could be different levels for different types of tumors or different types of okay. cells. Yeah, that is the range 0 0.5 to 1 volt ok, when you apply voltage remember the cell membrane cannot conduct, so it will uh, it'll charge, so it will build, it will develop voltages. So, minimum is 0 0.5 volts people have seen, but up to 1 volt it can, yeah it depends upon the type of the cell, type of the species, type of the species and then yes that is the next slide ok and then type of the molecule to be injected and all that ok. So, you remember here if the E field is too intense it could destroy the cell, you can ask ok, so what you can just cell why not you die ok, kill it ok, you can do that one or you want it ok. Uh, you want to open 50 percent ok and then so allow the drug to cure it ok and then the other thing is if it is too weak it may not open then nothing use ok, if it is too high it will kill the cell too low it would not open up. So, we want to optimize that is when my job is ok, I optimize various cells, various drugs, various pulses ok and see which one works ok. So, here is what we were talking ok, you, this is the kV per centimeter, this is the diameter in microns ok. So, 13.32, 12.1, 2 2.7 ok. So, higher the diameter lower the electric field, but that is not always the case, see next time it is 9.5 still 2.7 ok. All it shows that it varies ok and again it depends upon the cell type the source ok, whether it is from the you know from the breast or from the blood or from anywhere else colon or kidney and then the species whether it is mouse or human rat ok and then the type of the tumor ok, whether it is myeloma or lymphoblastoid ok, lymphoid, epithelial. So, if you look at compare mouse and rat, yes. the mass of the tissues are bigger in case I mean size of the uh, uh, animal itself is bigger compared to there itself you would find a higher specific mass has some issue I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah many you know, that is why remember it is the type of the tumor because remember these two are different, this is epitheloid and this is fibrobl fibroblast ok. So, it has got many things that equation is just a like a you know just one illustration what can happen if everything else is constant. 
the probability of everything else constant is very very meager. Questions? Hmm? So, there is a very good uh, somebody who is got a penchant for modeling can model available based on the available data to fit a curve for the equation where you can specific mass and the tissue type can be incorporated. That is the way uh, that is what I was trying to drive home. Yeah, yeah, you can do that, but remember the b uh, ball does not stop there, you have the… No, it is not that. Okay, no problem, point well taken. Okay, this is old data because you know remember I told you whatever the cases I told those are the new things, okay. Uh, this was done in, in 2000, 1998, 1999, they used parallel plate, needle array. In this case, they used… Uh, 7 needle array, okay. there will be center 6 1 and they apply um, 6 pulses. Okay. So, it will go 60 degree, 60 degree like that, but that is too cumbersome. Dr. Julie Gell came up with that design. Okay. She is a doctor, she is a medical or uh, oncological surgeon. I met her in 2006 in Atlanta. So, she came up with that design where you use 8 needles, 4 positive, 4 negative. 4 millimeter gap between the positive and negative, 2 millimeter gap between the needles. Okay. So, you make it like a PCB layout and then you go connect it and do it. That is what she did it. So, now many people do that, but eventually you will see that you know people change, some people use 4 needles, some people use 2 needles. People just to be different, they will do, they change it. And here I want you to pay the attention. Okay. This is the overall response. You remember the medicines I showed you, tamoxifen, taxi, bleomycin and all those for 17 to 54 percent and now here you see 100, 98.7, 100, 100, 100, 100, only one case 75, 100, 100. Okay. Any is no response. If the tumor size does not reduce below 50 percent, it is called no response. Okay. And then PR is partial response that is the tumor size has reduced more than 50 percent. And then complete response okay, the tumor is okay, you cannot touch it or feel it, it is gone. So, the overall response okay, so this is you cannot get uh, this kind of response in any therapy. Surgery you know how many complications they do not tell you okay. And uh, in US alone each year 90,000 people die out of infections avoidable avoidable errors medical errors okay so they will tell infection they forgot to tell how that infection came okay the med the doctor himself would have caused it they would have forgot to take the sponge out or the scissors out okay so they wouldn't tell you why that happened okay the, that is another issue you know people are talking about in medical field uh, what is that uh, transparency because they are afraid if they tell they will be you know penalized but if you do not tell the truth, if you do not tell what happened, when are you going to learn, how are you going to correct, how are you going to tell others, these are the mistakes possible, stop it like that. Okay. So, that is another, you know, um, it is not relevant to this course, but it is uh, happening because people want to be transparent. Okay. You just, you know, of RTI, course. All of you know, RTI is prevalent in India, yeah, 10 rupees is enough to question anything. Mm, they now they changed, I read it. It seems you can only ask something. If you want to more details, you have to pay 100 rupees something. I read there it. Are, there, there are some, you see the problem is uh, it has because been people a very good thing, but it is not allowing the functioning of the normal things too in the process. There are some uh, individuals who were uh, putting so many applications in the process, mm -hmm. uh, regular running of the organizations is at stake. So, that a law, law had to be amended because of that. Whatever. No, pros and cons are always there. Mm, maybe. Mm. Okay. That, uh, the getting blue, mm. uh, does that indicate uh, 100 percent uh, response rate? No, tumor response rate is you wait for, okay, according to um, WHO, you wait for 28 days. Okay, after 28 days, if it is 50 percent reduced, partial response, fully reduced, 100 percent. If you know, if we didn't, it, it can grow or it can stay the same, then it is no difference, NE. Okay. So, you have to wait for 28 days. 
but my case is I see them, I saw them, okay, how within 2 hours things have changed, yeah. But uh, according to if they want a report, they have to wait for 28 days. So how does that color correlate? Color, you don't know, no, you, haven't you fallen, how it will be fresh, pinkish and reddish when you fall and when it crest will fall you know, eventually, that is what it is. That is what I observed because I was each one yeah, saying it. Know, I don't know whether you have ever got a chance to see somebody get angry, okay. Have you ever seen? Yes. So, it becomes dark black and it becomes lifeless and it becomes more like inanimate thing. And you, re you even you pass a knife there, nothing, the person will not feel. Okay. So, that is again a form of, see, when the healthy blood flows, there is a particular color which you can see. Okay, so you always, when you say you are looking pale, you say paleness is associated with weakness, paleness is associated with, even during fear, you know, the uh, blood rushes to the pancreas and then the, what you see is pale. Even mm -hmm. a healthy person will pale. And, uh, in fact, uh, talking about pancreatic cancer, we lost a colleague within one week, pancreatic cancer. Yeah, normally three to it six doesn't months. doesn't give much time. Whereas uh, a prostate cancer, the person is, uh, one of my close colleagues, he's still surviving, I mean, and uh, he's gone through the whole set of chemotherapy, and uh, above all, his willpower is making him stay back. That's what they say, you know, the doctor can only give the medici medicine, the patient has to heal himself. They should have the, you know, intent, uh, willingness to live, bear the pain, because some people will say Actually, no. Actually, there is something which uh, all of us should know is, medicine facilitates, but it is the cure happens through regeneration of the cells. That is the most important. If we know that, it is taken to a large extent. Otherwise, what you are putting in the poison? Yeah, drug means in, in French poison. We are okay. We have to give poison to kill. So yeah. So this is one case. Uh, this is a old case, but you know this was the first case I know. Mercy Hospital, Cork, Ireland. Okay, I didn't see this lady. I saw another lady uh, doing the tr this one. Okay, she had chest wall recurrence. Okay, remember normally when you have breast cancer, they remove the breast. Okay, that is the mastectomy and surgery, okay, and then they give radiation to kill the cells nearby and then they will give a chemotherapy if any cells are in the blood, okay, so they give surgery, radiation, chemo, that is the standard. Then within one or two years you become normal, okay, when what happens within two, three years, okay, most 30 percent of the women get recurrence, okay, we do not know which 30 percent, that is why we treat all of them, okay, we shower them with the drug, all of them. Okay, so, this lady got it, okay, after 4 years she get it. So, what do you operate? You already remove the breast, there is nothing to operate, okay. You cannot re-radiate because you know those nerves will be insensitive to the radiation. Many times these recurrent cancers will be chemo resistive, means the cells do not respond. You give chemotherapy, it does not work. Normally, these people are left to die with suffering and pain, okay. So, you realize the case. Here you go, okay, you apply the, you know, you give the local anesthesia, you inject the chemo drug and then low dose, okay, and then you apply the pulse, okay. You see here how it is, you know, how it is raw, you see that, you see how it is cured, okay. So, many women, many women got life. This lady was followed up for up to four and a half years, you know, remember, she was supposed to die in. Oh, wait, 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 I have to finish this. Give me some reason. Okay, this is another one in Italy. I will finish it. Okay, so this is that um, um, EGA, it is the Italian, uh, Italian pulsar. It shows you the, you see uh, the voltage, okay, for 1200 volts per centimeter and then the current. Typically, they want 100, 200 milliamperes. In this case, I saw up to 12 amperes, okay, 12 amperes is lot of current, that guy I told you know, big tumor, so he had it, okay. 
and then why electrochemotherapy when there is inoperable okay radiation chemo resistant we do not have any other choice so we will do it okay maybe I will skip all this when we do third Wednesday we will talk more about it. Okay, these are the patients in Chennai. These patients they cannot open their mouth, cannot eat, cannot drink, pain, okay. Social also stigma, now can they go out? These patients were suffering, treated with electrochemotherapy within two weeks, it all gone, okay. You know some doctors complain because you know it becomes small, so they expect them to come, so that instead of 60,000 charging for surgery, they can charge 10,000, some patients do not show up. So, they are complaining because of you I do not have my, so they do not care about the patient's wellness, okay. They want only money, so we have to change all that, okay. These are all, okay, maybe I will talk all about this. Uh, I think uh, I can take one or two quick questions and then. Uh, no, I want to just show this, this is the irreversible, okay, Dr. Uh, he's from UC Berkeley. Okay, we'll talk. Okay, so here is how you model, how you build. I'll just finish it. Electric field simulation. You can study impedance spectroscopy also. Okay. Okay. With this, I end. Thank you so much. Yeah. Questions, please. Yeah, uh, I would like to tell you this is just a uh, birds eye view of what's yeah. going to be done.